In this video, I'm going to summarize four different ways of getting depth charts or bathymetry for free online for lakes in Ontario. The province has about a quarter million lakes. Not all of them have bathymetry, not even close. But the ones that do have it are available through these resources. So I'm going to summarize these four resources. The first one is Navionics. Second one is Fish Online. Third, Angler's Atlas. And fourth, LEO or Land Information Ontario. The first thing you should know is that the vast majority of these resources come from one location, one source, which is old bathymetry surveys like this one that were completed uh, over the last few decades either by the Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry or even before that the Ontario Department of Lands and Forests. Back when these surveys were done, surveyors would go out and record information to create these maps. These paper maps would get scanned and then geo-rectified so they can be referenced against geographic coordinates. And then someone, uh, a digitizer, would trace all the lines on the map and vectorize them so that they can be used in applications like this. For Navionics, they visualize the data a little bit differently, but it is the same source of information the vast majority of the time coming from that information from the MNRF. The other two resources are Angler's Atlas. So this website just provides a portal for those images, the scans. So you can see that one here that is from the MNR. It looks like there are a couple of other ones which may be a derivative of this one. In any case, this is a good place to get maps very easily. You just have to sign up with a free account. And then lastly, Land Information Ontario. That's when you have to jump through a few hoops, but you do get access to um, the full data set. Sometimes it's the only place to get the data. The other three resources do not have some of this data. So when I'm looking for bathymetry, when I'm planning a trip, the first place I'm going to go to is Navionics. This is the easiest place to get it. It's visualized in a nice way. And perhaps most importantly, there's a great mobile app for it, so I can view this information on the go. To get here, just search Navionics web app. And if you're on their homepage, just click on Chart Viewer and simply zoom to wherever you want to look at. As I mentioned, this does not have all of the information that you can get out of the bathymetry scans, the images. So you've got this lake here, but the surrounding lakes, nothing. You have the outline of them. Sometimes you don't even get an outline. This is a remote area, so you have nothing. Not even bothering to show the outline of the lakes. So if you can get the data from Navionics, great. If you can't, second place I would look is Fish Online. So just search Fish Online and you'll come to an overview of the province. The lakes are clustered. So when you click on an icon, it zooms you in. I'm just gonna zoom into Lake Simcoe. You'll see I can't check lake depth contours because I'm not zoomed in far enough. It's too much data to present, so you have to zoom in more. And then I can now activate lake depth contours and see the bathymetry. I'm not going to get into it in any detail. I've done that in another video, but uh, when you click on the lake, you can get lots of great information, average depth, maximum depth, any stocking that has occurred there, what types of fish either reported by the public or, or reported by surveys from the ministry. And one thing that's kind of uh, hidden here is if you turn off the topographic map, Below it is the imagery, and it's actually pretty nice quality. It's uh, one of the best sources for imagery you can get for Ontario for free. But back to depth charts, uh, again, this does not have everything. If Navionics doesn't have uh, the lake you're looking for, if Fish Online doesn't have it, next place you can try is Angler's Atlas. Just search Angler's Atlas, then click on search, and simply zoom in, and you'll find maps that are referenced to the centroid of the lake. Red dots mean that no depth chart is available for that lake. Blue means that there is. So zoom into a lake, click on that blue dot if there is one, and boom, you've got some free maps. These are just topo maps, not what we're looking for, but here's a bathymetry map from the MNR. And that's really all there is to say about uh, Angler's Atlas. It either has a blue dot or it doesn't. Last place you can go if you really want bathymetry and you're willing to jump through a few hoops, search for Land Information Ontario Metadata Tool. Click on this and that will take you here. There is a clunky search bar 
Make sure you type the symmetry correctly. You're not going to find it otherwise. And search that. You've got the symmetry, Lake Superior, Lake Erie, all the Great Lakes. That's not what we're looking for right now. There are bathymetry points and bathymetry lines. This is vector data, which also is not what we're looking for right now. I'm looking for the scanned images of those maps. This is the one I want, historic bathymetry maps. So just hit download, and there are going to be a couple more steps here. That takes you to this page, and you'll find some basic information, where to find support, numbers to call, contact information. There is a support email for Land Information Ontario. This is a public resource. It's funded by your tax dollars. So down here, we're going to see the things that we want. First step is to download the package map. I've already done it, and it looks like this. What you want to get out of this is this map. So this is a large amount of information. You're talking about thousands of scans, thousands of images. You can see the size of each zone here on the map. So zone four is 3.2 gigabytes and it contains all the scans for lakes in this zone. So download this first and find the one that you want, the zone that you want. Next, you'll need the bathymetry lookup values. And this is an Excel worksheet. What we want to extract from this is the water body ID. Okay, so go to the package field, sort the one that you want. So let's say we wanted zone four. This just weeds down the list a little bit. There are lakes of the same name in different zones. The only rule on that is that they have to be in different townships, which is not very differentiating. That's why we have probably 100 Bear Lakes, 100 Loon Lakes. So here, filter for the water body name. Wanna Pite was in there, so I'll go with that. Now I wanna take this water body ID that's associated with the lake. You can't search Wanna Pite when you get the eventual download. And this is what I'm gonna search when I get my download of images. So go back to Leo and look down the list is package one, package two, package three, I want package four. So click that, provide your name, your organization, and your email address. I don't know why this is collected. I'm assuming they collect it for some kind of licensing purpose. I don't think there's any reason to worry about giving them your information, uh, and it is free. Uh, and then after, uh, usually within a few hours, sometimes very quickly, you'll get uh, an email with the download link. So just click it, download it, and then extract it to your computer. In this case, I'm looking at zone four. So I just go into that directory here, zone four, symmetry 04, and then here you see all these scans. So I wanna go back to Excel, make sure I have that copied, paste it into the search in Windows Explorer, and now I'll get the scan for one of Pate. Well, this method is a lot more work than the other three, you get a lot out of it too. If you're going all over the province and you want bathymetry, uh, this is worth doing. Just spend an hour and you'll have it. There are some really cool ones too. Uh, thousands of these scans, um, but a few of them have summaries like this one. This is Onapping, broken up into three sections, south, middle, north. And if you nerd out on this kind of stuff, you don't I'm not sure why you're even watching this video uh, but you can get a lot of really interesting information uh, in these summaries Lake characteristics from uh, kind of a scientific perspective historical information mentions a HBC or Hudson Bay uh, trading post species this information could be outdated but I still find it interesting this is back from 74 access facilities fetching summary Pretty cool stuff. So you have to jump through a few hoops, but I think it's well worth the effort. So that's it. I hope that helps. And if you have any questions, please post them in the comments uh, so others can view them if they have the same question and I will respond there.